Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are continuing our journey in The Walking Dead, uh, New Frontier. The third episode came out, or I guess today technically, um, late last night. And uh, we're going to continue our story in The Walking Dead, New Frontier. Um, I'm really, really excited. I, can't, I don't really remember. Oh yeah, we left off with, with, uh, with uh, uh, the, the, the dude right there in the middle. I forget his name. Or Javier. Javier's brother was a part. Uh, was leading like the bad guys or something like that. So let's get right into it, and uh, let's see what it's like. Usually these episodes aren't that long. They're usually around like an hour or so, maybe. So I'm really, really pumped. Though. I'm really excited uh, to uh, to see where the story continues because they definitely left you off on Previously a click on cliffhanger. The Walking Dead. You don't have to fill his cup up anymore, baby. Grandpa is sleeping. No, Yaya. Pipo's awake. Solamente está confundido. Mama. Oh my god! Oh my god! Hey! Put your hands up. Close your eyes. Thanks. Mari! Oh, shit! Kate! I have to stay with my family. Go. I'll hold him off. I said go. Hey. What do we call you? Sorry. Forgot to introduce myself. It's Paul, but my friends call me Jesus. I fucking knew it. You're one of them? You're goddamn right she is. If you want to shoot me, shoot me. How about I shoot your little boyfriend here instead? <laughs> Holy shit. What the hell's going on out here? Oh my god. That's where we left off, boys. Man, I forgot about the uh, when it, when his niece got shot. That was insane, dude. That that I that completely blew me away. I did not see that coming at all whatsoever. I was completely shocked. I hate being out so close to dark. It's harder to see them coming. We're just gonna get that propane and then come right back. I I saw it in that pickup truck parked down the road a little, in front of the Wallace's house. I just wish there was an easier way to get it, and that we didn't have to risk life and limb every damn day for food and water and gas for the stove. Nothing's easy anymore, Kate, but that doesn't mean we don't have to try. <sighs> I know. It's just hard to get used to, that's all. We get over there, we grab the tank, and we get the hell back home. If we're lucky, we won't see a single one of those things. Fingers yeah, right. Crossed. There it is. Let's take it and go. Let's get it. something else we can use in there yeah okay maybe but we came out here for that tank i just thought this one time we deserve to catch a fucking break Yeah. <laughs> 
Give me your goddamn hammer, woman. What are you doing? I'm sorry. I was just so fucking scared. You froze. It's okay. I wanted to kill it. I really did, but I know him. That was one of Cape's friends. True. He was so sweet. He always had a smile on his face. I'm sorry you had to see that. I'm sure he was a, a good kid. He's not a kid anymore. He's just... one of those things. I don't even know what to call them. If they're not people, if they're just the dead... <sighs> Muertos. That's what we'll call them. I thought we were gonna die. I thought Gabe and Mariana were just gonna wake up and we would just be... gone. We should, uh... Really, get back inside. Yeah. Okay. Damn. I know we all wanted to stay here in the house and wait for David to come back, but it's been three months since he drove away with your mom. What are you saying? We're not safe here. Not anymore. You and I could have been killed out there. For an empty can. There's got to be a safer place out there. What makes you think it's going to be better anywhere else? Everything and everyone outside this door is dead. Exactly. How long until one of those things gets in? We stay. Somebody's going to get hurt. Or worse. You really think the kids are going to be happy with this plan? The kids will understand. And if they don't, we'll just... Make them see it our way. We have to go. How come? What if I don't want to leave? Cape. We're safe inside the house. I and I bet we can find more food in the neighborhood if we just look harder. We need to find somewhere with more people around. People who are still alive. People who don't mind sharing their supplies. We have our own supplies. Not enough. Not anymore. What about Dad? What's he gonna think if he shows up and we, we just ditched him? We might never find him again. Your dad would want us to do this game. He'd want us to survive. We've been surviving. Here. At home. Barely. I'm sorry, Gabe. But... Javi's right. Uh, how about you guys go and I stay here? You're a kid. That's not how it works. I can take care of myself. If I need any help, I'll just ask my friends. Gabe? Honey? What? What's, what's wrong with her? Why is she acting so weird? Uncle Javi? She's sad. Because when we were out, we saw your friend, Drew. But it wasn't exactly him anymore. You mean... He, he was one of them? We're so sorry, Gabe. So you understand why, don't you? Why we have to leave? If that happened to you, I couldn't bear it. When do we have to go? Tomorrow, as soon as it's daylight. I want to leave him a note. I'll help you get started. Okay? What are we going to tell him? I want to say something good. Just tell him we love him. All of us. And nothing's going to change that. Not ever. I like that. I'm going to write it right now, so we don't forget. Of course. I'll help him. Thank you. Really.
bum 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 Episode 3, Above the Law. I'm pumped. I'm pumped! Ah. Whew. Yeah, that was a pretty dope intro. I like the music. Dad? Javi? Is that really you? I always hoped I'd find you. I, I thought you were dead, man. I, I thought you'd been dead for, for a long time. No such luck. I knew you were still alive. I knew it. Hey, weapons down. This is my family. You gotta let us in. Kate doesn't have much longer. Jesus. Kate! David? I'm here, honey. I'm right here. What the hell happened? She's been shot. And we got the bullet out, but she's still bleeding. We need your doctor. Now, David. What the fuck is she on the ground for? She's barely got a pulse. She's cold as fucking ice. How are you just gonna leave her here like this? He said we had to kneel. I couldn't hold on to her. The fuck you trying to prove, Max? They're outsiders, David. It's what we do with everybody. She's coming inside! But she hasn't been checked! Fuck that! This is my wife! I... I didn't know! Honest! She's going to the hospital! Now! Our doctor's gonna help you, honey. I'm gonna make sure of it. Wait! I I'm going with you! Sorry, but the rest of you have to go straight to quarantine. What for? All newcomers get checked for bites, and they all have to answer a couple of questions. Our doctor will clear the two of them, but the rest of you have to come with me to the quarantine holding area. Fine. Let's just get this over with. Javi. Make my job easy, would you? Listen to your friend. <sighs> Whatever you say. Let's go. Well then, look at that. Doesn't look like a quarantine zone to me, Jesus. Trip. Oh God, Eleanor. When we found the car without you in it, I didn't know what to think. The engine up and died. I came here looking for help and this happened. I've been so worried about Kate. I told them she needed a doctor. They promised me someone would look into it. Please, tell me they found her. They definitely didn't look for her, because she was still in the car. But that's crazy! I told them she was dying! And clearly it wasn't a priority. Well, at least those assholes realized she needed a hospital once they saw her. I'm sorry, Javi. Really, but I didn't have any reason not to believe them. What? The people here in Richmond. Their new frontier. Oh my god. Oh, you ain't even heard the worst part yet. One of them's his brother. 
I didn't even know you had a brother, Javi. Hey, nobody's more surprised than me. I, I thought the guy was dead. We haven't seen David in years. It's just been me, Kate, and the kids this whole time. I don't even want to think about what the odds are, but he did seem pretty damn surprised to see you. Whoever this guy is, he can't be all bad, right? I mean, he helped Kate instead of hauling her down here. Of course he brought her inside. She's his damn wife. You're kidding. Kate is married to your brother? The way you two acted around each other. I just didn't think she had a husband out there, is all. The only reason I know Kate is because she married David. I was the best man at their wedding. Wow. Okay. Family drama aside, hope you know I'm not about to make nice with New Frontier. I know you didn't have much stake in Prescott, Javi, but they burned that place to the ground for no fucking reason. After everything you folks told me, I'm guessing I'm not gonna find my people alive. Hell, Javi. They killed your niece! Shot Kate! For all we know, your brother could have been behind it. And even if it wasn't his idea in the first place... I hate to admit it, but... There's a chance he gave the order. If he didn't know it was them, if he was just trying to get payback for what was stolen... It's possible. What was he like when you knew? You guys get along? He seemed happy enough to see you up there. At least at first. Things between me and him were complicated. Some days we'd be at each other's throats. Other days we could shoot the shit for hours and still find stuff to talk about. So he's a moody son of a bitch, huh? If your brother knew anything about what happened in Prescott, he's gotta answer for it. They all do! I owe that to Conrad. I'm not just gonna let things slide. I've never really been an eye for eye kind of man. But people died. We need to even out the scales. We need to look like we're playing along with their rules. Go along with what they say. For now. Then, when the time is right, that's when we demand justice. Hey. Hey. I would have been here sooner, but I had to take care of... something. Come on already, Kate's asking for you. Maybe you think it's okay to keep a lady waiting. Thought I taught you better than that. What about the rest of my friends? They're not invited. Hurry up now. Looks like the rules don't apply to everyone, huh? That's right. Some people get out of here early. Others stay a long fucking time. Trip, just drop it, okay? Smart cookie, this one. Javi, just go. I'll be back as soon as I can. You know that. Thanks. <laughs> Trip. What's that thing on his right arm? Who knows?